Alright, what's going on friends and tech lovers, Dan Kapooch here, and uh, I'm here for my first computer tutorial. Alright, I'm not really too big on computers, I added these computers with actual functions off camera, so I, cause, so I can watch a video on how to do it. And, um, alright, so let's get started. I tried doing a tutorial actually right before this, with me doing it, like hands-on, but I found it kind of hard. So I'm just going to show you how it should look for a redstone output. Alright, so... In case you don't know, I have this computer. If I want to call Connor, I type my password, and then that's my little alarm that says "Call Connor." And now it opens this door for him, but this isn't supposed to be like that. That's why I added this computer here. There, now I have that. And that opens the door without any, like going against the alarm. All right, so let's get started. Um. First of all, you're going to want to crack the computer, obviously. This is my little computer factory that got backed up. This is how you crack the computer. Stone, like kind of like stone pants. Glass on the very bottom, redstone in the middle. should probably turn this off. And that will get you a computer. I have 42 computers. And, um... Okay, so that will give you a computer. Now... Let me just eat for a second. Alright, now, to get a redstone output going to the left, I thought it was the easiest way to do it, because that's how the tutorial went. Um, I will show you exactly how to do it. So, it, to get this to come up all like this perfectly, um, if, this, if this is blank when you first out, put it on a computer, you're going to put type in edit, startup, then enter, then the first thing you're going to do for like a password to go to the left, is write the, uh, that, look, I think it's quotations, yeah, I think it's quotations, and, uh, then, whatever you want it to say, mine's call Connor, and I'll too, then, uh, you don't have to do the semicolon space, I just like to do that, because it looks better, then you put that there, another one, then you hit enter, do input space equals space read, and then, uh, the, there's parentheses, by the way, then you do another, uh, then you go enter, hit enter again, and you put if input equals equals space parenthesis, this is your, this is going to be your password, okay? So my password to call Connor is Connor. Then you can put another parenthesis and space, then. Then you can hit, hit space again, I, uh, enter again. Then if it is correct password, you're going to want to type in, well, yeah, if it's correct, you're going to type in print parenthesis, and then you can type in whatever you want, like access granted, or um, congratulations, you've opened the door, mine is just calling Connor, then you do the parenthesis, then you hit enter, then you uh, do redstone, period, set, capital O on output, uh, open parenthesis, left, like that, comma, space, true, close parenthesis, then space, I, I keep saying space, then enter. Now, sleep. What that means is, like, when I call, uh, oh, wait. Oops. Alright, the, uh, the sleep thing. So, oh, no, what'd I do? Okay, there we go. Alright, so the sleep. I have this set for 8 seconds, so 8 seconds that will go off, 8 seconds this door will stay open. That's what sleep means, how long do you want the current to stay open? Then, um, then after you do that, you parentheses around it, you do OS, period, shut down, then both parentheses, then enter, end. And then you can hit control, enter, Control right on the um, what do you call it? Uh, on the right arrow key, then enter again, then reboot, then goodbye. This is oh, okay. Usually I press escape and do it, but then it'll bring you back to your home page, as like I call it. Then, then there it call it. So that's how it, uh, you get a redstone output going to the left. See. Um, Access granted, see? All that beautiful stuff. Oh, by the way, we have a pig in here. 
he just kind of walked in. So yeah, that's how you uh, program a computer to uh, sorry to go into the um, get, get a redstone current going to the left for how long ever however long you want it to stay open. That's what the sleep's for. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. There is a way to lock it so that someone gets the wrong password. It won't like if okay con con o oh, nothing would happen. But there is a way to say it, like, so the computer will shut down, so that they can't even try to guess again, or something, if someone gets it wrong. But I don't know, there is a way to do that, to lock your passcode, because, or, sorry, there are ways of people finding out your passcode. So, um, there are ways, when I figured out how to do that, I couldn't get it, I couldn't uh, quite get it to work. But, um, when I figure out how to do that, I will definitely post another video on how to do that. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to program a computer to um, get a redstone output. And um, and I will see you in my next Tekkit video. And uh, have a good day, and goodbye.